What's going on, guys? I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Liam Neeson situation. Now, this guy is a great actor. You know, I've seen some of his movies. Taken, one, two, three, a walk among the tombstone. Uh, the movie he did on the um, airplane and all that stuff, it was just focused on the airplane. It looked like, to me, a different kind of version of snakes on a plane, but it didn't involve any snakes or anything like that. Or Passenger 57, I believe, with Wesley Snipes. You know, there's been a lot of uh, airplane movies and all that stuff where it just focused on being on the plane. Very interesting. So he was on Good Morning America, and he revealed a very dark past of his... Of, uh, of his where he said uh, a, a friend of his, which a white female, uh, I presume, uh, she came to him and showed him that she was raped. He said, and uh, he asked her, did you know who did it? And she said, no. And she said, well, what was his color? Immediately, that's the question he went to, and she said black. Now, instead of calling the cops, so a rape kit test would be done or something like that, or a DNA test, will be done. Maybe they could take the guys. If she had any uh, um, body fluid evidence on them, and maybe they could identify the guy through that. But he decided to wait out a week with a uh, kosh, I believe. I, I don't know what what that is, but I think it's a baton of some sort, a blunt weapon, and he waited out to attack and. And uh, wait for any black guy coming out of a bar and for them to uh, start a dispute with him or an altercation with him, whichever, just so he could kill them. And could you believe he said all of this? And you even had black people on Twitter defending this guy. You had black people on Twitter saying, oh, he deserves a second chance. That was just a dark, a dark time in his past and all that stuff. I understand where he's coming from. His friend was raped. Now, we already know there's a bad history between the Irish and black people. Um, you know, when they started coming here from um, the famine, like, uh, you know, all the brutality that was going on in Ireland, Ireland, you know, they basically were in the same boat as us, them, the Italian, and the Jews. Until in the 1940s, uh, I believe, they got their um, white card, basically their honorary white card, and, um, you know, they started taking over police jobs, city jobs. It could have been 1960s. I, I'm confused about the date. Police jobs, city jobs, and civil jobs. I believe the Irish got the police job. The Italian had the firefighter jobs. And uh, the Jews, European Jews, had um, civil jobs. And they all was, uh, you know, crapping on black people and I mean, completely turned. And, of course, since they were police, they would mistreat black people. And also, there's history of... Uh, Irish people owning uh, black slaves. So, if you have a last name of uh, Mick Mulligan, Mick McCaster or something like that, or Mick Fiend, Mick Filligan or something, um, you know, maybe you have some Irish ancestry. You know, I didn't do a 23andMe test, but I, I'm willing to bet I have some French ancestors when I'm being Haitian and, you know, how we were uh, enslaved to the French. But, you know... I never went to the movies to watch his um movies and I'm def and I usually watch it on like online streaming uh, service but I'm definitely will not be watching the thing. I'm basically done with this guy for everything that he said and what he wanted to do because if we're going to hold people and our community accountable like R Kelly and the Chris Brown, you know these people Chris Brown incident happened in 09. There's people that still call him an abuser that still said they want him to uh, fake uh, prison time for what he did, even though Rihanna was the one that did start it. I'm not making any excuses about that. But, you know, when it comes to us, some of us in the black community just want complete and utter uh, punishment for us. But when it comes to people like Neon Neeson, you have some people in the black community trying to play a defense for him. As if what he did was, as if what he did was a good thing, which it wasn't. But, you know, I can't control what people say. People will say whatever they want. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video. And if you guys want to continue to support them, that's your business. But not me.